What's up guys, welcome to Mr. Legend Crypto guys, in today's video we'll be taking a look at the general crypto market, in particular we'll be taking a look at Wave, guys, Wave have been one of those coins that have actually been pumping in the last one month, it's up over 204%, it's one of the early movers in the all season, guys, in this video we'll be talking about whether you should buy more Waves and what's the price prediction for Waves, like where will Wave actually encounter a reversal, you can see right here that Wave is actually just printing in green candles that's from the market from when the market bottom on the 21st of february 2022 wave have just been pumping has gone up over 600 percent in over 39 days we're talking about that i'll be showing you the wave market cap chart i'll be showing you some indicators that have been flashing on wave market cap we'll also be looking at coin market cap chart i'll be showing you why i believe guys why wave is in the crucial point we're taking a look at wave versus btc wave versus ethereum and more important to be looking at the wave dominance chart to see has wave topped should we buy wave should we ride the wave to the moon or should we chill for other coins because it might be too late to get away we're talking about that and more in this video but first guys if you're new here don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel for awesome videos like this turn the post notification guys more important if you want to get notified anytime i drop these videos let's get down to business Seven, one, two, three, four. Guys, this is the top 100 cryptocurrency by market capitalization. You can see that in the last one week, we've had a lot of pumps. If I put it on the monthly, it even shows the pump we have had. GMT has been the biggest gain as GMT has gone up over 1,700% in the last one month. You can see Ziggly Q has gone up over 348% and Wave is up over 2 104 percent and guys that's the coin we'll be talking about today wave this coin has been creating waves literally but first let's go at coinmarketcap.com wave is going to rank number 30 it has a market capitalization of 5.95 billion us dollars it has a fully directed market cap of six billion dollars uh, it has circulating supply of 107 million coins and guys at the point of recording this video wave is trading for 55 dollars guys in the last one year wave has gone up as high as 62 dollars so you can see that it's just right near that 62 dollars region guys you can see right here that in the last one year wave has gone as low as seven dollars and as high as 62 dollars now guys we're looking at the wave versus us dollar price chart now let's go to the bottom of the market when the market actually bottomed that was in uh, january when bitcoin was at 32k everybody thought the whole world was coming to an end and wave at that point in time was around 1.6 dollar region wave went as high as 746 percent in the next 66 days now it didn't look as if the market was really pumping but you can see right here that wave have been going high guys as i noticed something now a lot of people have been piling on wave and uh, they have been to FOMO in on India, I've been seeing the thing increasing every day and it feels like, oh my god, oh my god, let me get some wave. I'm missing the action. Guys, be careful. All season is there, yes. All of these coins are going to be pumping, but you don't want to be chasing all these coins. You don't want to be buying the top. You don't want to buy something when it's up over 200 and something percent on the month. And I'll show you why. Now, guys, using the Fibonacci extension tool on wave, we go to the top of the previous bull run for wave to the bottom of the bear market guys very very important look at what wave is doing right here wave has touches 3.618 region of the Fibonacci extension tool and the last place it remains for wave to reach is around that 75 dollar region so i believe guys using this Fibonacci extension tool wave might actually top out here at 75 dollars i'll be showing you other signs in the chart that is actually confirming this sign because this is just something i was just playing with the charts and i was like oh my god look at that wave has almost gotten to this full extension then i said you know what let's go to the market cap chart let's see what the market cap of wave is actually doing and guys guess what if you go to the top of the previous bull run for the market cap of wave to the bottom of the bear market guys you can see perfectly wave actually hit this 3.618 region of Fibonacci extension and when waves market cap gets to that 7.5 billion dollar region boom wave should actually be topping and right now i showed you guys here you can see the market cap of wave we're already at it got to as high as six billion dollars today but we're at 5.95 billion dollars so when the market cap of wave start getting to 7.5 billion dollars guys that would be a very good time to start scaling out and selling a lot of your wave if you want to hold your profit guys wave is up over 50x since the market bottomed in 2020 this was the bottom of the general cryptocurrency market in march 2020 guess what guys from that day wave is up over its 1x so if you bought wave the day the market bottomed march 2020 that covid 19 crash 
at the point of recording of this video guys you will have been up 80x over 8000 percent the question i want to ask i want you to ask yourself is that if you are just new in this market will you be selling your wave after a 80x return or will you be buying more i think the smart decision here will be to sell more and all the people that are following all the people that are following at the ending phase of it you can see right here guys look at the volume of waves that have been traded over the month and you can see right here that the most volume is coming at the end that's how you know the cycle of a coin is coming to an end the most volume is coming at the end this is when the crowd is foaming people that do not care about wave all this way because the thing is pumping every day they are buying it they are buying it and you can see right here from the bottom of the pump we are already up over 500 percent and guys i have one rule again that i always used to say for all these coins i believe that the whales that buy all these coins, they conveniently look for 10x from their entry point. And I believe that if those whales buy it at the bottom, bottom of the market, 10x of the market, imagine a whale you bought at 7.5, at $75, $76, you would have done 900%, which is 10x. And that's what these whales used to do most of the time. So guys, now I've showed you two signs that is actually showing that wave might be coming to the end of its cycle. You can see right here that wave is almost at the full extension, all the Fibonacci extension, so it's a carry wave to that 44, it's a carry wave to that 74, 75. Uh, dollar region per wave and to actually carry the market cap to that 7.5 billion dollars region that's what you want to see that's what i'm saying it will be a perfect time to exit your wave around now or if you want to be very very risky you wait till that time but you can see right here even if you exit now you're only leaving at most 30 percent on the table just 30 percent of profit you're leaving on the table remember guys you never sell the top and you never be the one to buy the bottom you just want to sell near the top and sell near the bottom and guys this is wave against bitcoin this is another chart that is flashing red signals telling us that we're at a crucial point for wave you can see right here that the highest wave got against bitcoin was on the 18th of december 2018 that's the last time wave got this high against bitcoin and guess what guys this was the top of the cryptocurrency market in 2018 this was when wave was actually mooning and how many percent did it go on that time before it actually mooned wave went up over 419 400 wave went up over 400 percent against bitcoin before it finally mooned before it finally started pumping to the moon and guys guess what in 2022 wave is actually mooning and it's actually at that region where it was in 2018 wave is up over 380 percent against bitcoin i can see that this is a crucial point the last time we've got to this point it got rejected and right now we're at that point and we're we're experiencing some resistance there i think we'll break through it but guys it looks as if the cycle of wave is almost over you can see on the dollar pairing you can see on the market cap chart you can see on the bitcoin chart and now wave against ethereum 2 is almost in that region guys wave against ethereum the highest we got a wave against ethereum was on the 18th of december 2018 wave against ethereum still has a little room to run it still has uh, at least 152 percent to run but you can see that it has gone very very high from the bottom most of these all coins you want to buy them when nobody wants them if you have been watching my video guys i've always told you guys that all these old coins when nobody wants them when nobody wants to flip their ethereum for wave when nobody wants to flip their bitcoin for wave that's what you want to do you want to be getting all these old coins are cheap so that when the crowd start forming you can see right here in this region this is the crowd exchanging their ethereum for wave because their ethereum is no, no longer moving their bitcoin is no longer moving and they want to enjoy the pump you can see that every day if you enter the market you can see wave have been having steady rise and there's nothing people like like green pnl guess what somebody that bought here will tell his friend i bought one it's pumping or i bought and it's pumping that one will tell his friend to tell his friend i can see that the most volume we're having is at this ending phase you don't want to be get caught guys it's easy to write these projects up over thousands of percentage points guys it's easy to have 90 percent losses in them guys another reason why i believe wave uh pump might be over guys another reason why i believe the wave all season pump might be over is that wave has actually got into a crucial point on its dominance chart the highest wave dominance got uh, when the wave was stopping in 2018 was 0.33% of the general crypto market and wave is around almost at that region we've got as high as 0.3% of the total crypto market and wave is at that region and we're experiencing some small resistance there and you can see right here this one too showing us that wave is experiencing large large volumes and guys i want to go and check the historical data for waves and guess what just over a month ago this coin had a trading volume of just 96 million dollars you can see wave was trading for nine dollars here you can see the volume was just 96 million dollars and right now at the point of record of this video you can see that wave is doing a volume of over three billion dollars it did three billion dollars in the last day of march 2000 and 
22 and you can see right here today's trading volume is over 3.6 billion dollars and that means a lot of people are trading these coins and this is the best time for you to get out guys i actually realized another thing binance actually held a, tr a trading tournament for wave and the tournament just finished and i realized that the coin actually started pumping around that region you can see the promotion period for this tournament was march 3rd you can see promotion period for this tournament was 17th of march 2022 to the 23rd of March 2022 and will give the rewards for this tournament two weeks after the tournament has ended so that I expect that two weeks to be in April 7 so we'll be coming back on April 7 to actually see the price of wave but you can see that from when the tournament started that was the 17th of March 2022 from that day, wave was twenty-seven dollars, and wave has gone up over hundred percent from that time. So that's why I mean, maybe that's why many people are buying it. I can't say. But another thing is that Binance, anytime they're doing promos for all these their tokens, those tokens just go on the moon. See, GMT, GMT is going on the moon, and they're doing, they did a promo for it. Shiba, there's another promo for it, and wave, and all these promotions have ended. They'll be bringing new ones. But that's another reason, guys, why I believe this would be a very good time to be selling your wave. So, guys, tell me what you think in the comment section. Do you think Wave will get to $100? A lot of people are already saying Wave can go as high as $100. But I've showed you guys on the Fibonacci extension tool is telling us that Wave can only get as high as $75. Except Wave wants to do the mama jammers of all altcoin seasons. Wave wants to go to as high as $319. If I think that's possible, that will carry Wave from the bottom of the market. That will carry Wave over how many percent up. That means you have done a 490x return on your Wave. Is that possible, guys? I wish you say. This is crypto, anything is possible for but what would that put the market cap of wave for wave to get that high? The market cap of wave will have to go like 31 billion dollars. Is that possible? I don't know. Wave market cap is currently at 5.9 billion dollars. The market cap chart is showing us that 7.5 billion dollars is that point where we start flashing red. Thank you for watching this video, guys. If you have not subscribed to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can check out I did more videos on other altcoins, Zcash, Ethereum Classic, New, uh, EOS, Dash, Shushi. Basically, all the altcoins I'm holding for this altcoin season, I've done a video for them. You can go and check out my channel and check the reasons why I believe these coins will go to the moon and how you can perfectly exit this market. See you guys in my next video. Bye.